Hi there and welcome to this making woodwork for you tip on multi-body assembly techniques. My name is Graham Mansfield and I'm with Microconcepts. So you get the situation where you've created your assembly and the customer has requested additional items to be added into that assembly. So it's a multi-body solid that's been uh, created into an assembly and in this example we've got on the right hand side some newly created plinth blockings uh, and the plinth edge into place um, into the major assembly. So the question does pose how will we get this information directly into the assembly and the process is quite straightforward and simple. So let's pop into Inventor and have a look. Okay so I'm in an Inventor and We've got on the left hand side, this is the existing target assembly. This is the Cupboard Master IAM. On the right hand side, we have the Cupboard Master IPT, which already has incidentally the additional solid bodies modeled that we required. So it's had the modification carried out. What we need to do now is we need to move these forward and move them into this assembly. So how would we do that? Well, simply go to the Manage tab and in exactly the same way, use the Make Components button. It will select the uh, highlighted parts, sorry, the uh, bodies. It will move those directly into the dialog for us. But what we need to do is we need to recreate the, um, the location. So take heed of this note. It says, do you want to create a new target assembly? Or well, no, I don't. So I'm gonna select no. If I select yes, then it will create a new target assembly and it will just contain the actual plinth and nothing else. So we need to select the covered master in this instance and select next. It will ask us about the actual components again and you get a chance to play around with their template settings, etc. Let's say okay to that. It will then miraculously perform its additional modeling uh, parts to the, uh, to the assembly. So everything looks good. And it would then just allow me to um, move that forward just for complete list we can save it so each one of those components will be saved um, let's just finish off with some woodworking textures to place on just so that the bill of materials will read correctly so at the moment we've got some blank um, sort of raw material here what we want to do is we want to uh, match up the existing material so Colour tips in this one here. So we've got the laminated board. I know it's laminated boards. It's been it's a standard traditional pre pre laminated. I'm going to use the material picker just to go and source the original information. And I'm just simply going to select the components I need. I'm going to apply that, and it just leaves me with my raw edges. So I just need to set my raw edges here to be edge banded. So straight into edge banding. Let's use the same technique. Let's pull the edge banding in and we can see we've used a piece of two millimeter PVC on the, on the on the underside. All I've got to do now is just simply apply the appropriate edges with the correct edge banding. So we're just going to pan that over. Looks good. Let's apply that. I think we're pretty much good to go. We just need the plinth blockings to be set to solid timber. And I'm just going to select some standard timber material and apply that and we're good to go I think let's just close that off let's just set the home view back and save our changes and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to double check we're going to go into the builds and materials just make sure everything's appearing as it should do and with a few moments we should get the full set so just ripple through those changes for us There we go, we've got now got the new plinth blockings that have been added in. And we'll just make sure the materials have been assigned, which they have. So we're good to go. So a short tip there really, just on the um, placing mo new multi-body solids into an existing uh, assembly model. And please um, subscribe to the, uh, to the blog, Making Woodwork For You. My name is Graham Mansfield and have a great day.